Hey everyone and welcome to another 3D Revolution. In this video we're going to be looking at how to use Prusa Slicer to vary the layer height throughout your print, therefore saving time by reserving the thicker layer heights for where it won't be noticed and saving those thin layer heights for where you really need it for that level of detail. So let's have a look. Usually when you're slicing something ready for a print, you need to choose between either thicker layer heights for a quicker print or thinner layer heights which will preserve the detail in any areas with curves or slopes. But using this variable layer height feature in Prusa Slicer, you're able to use thinner layer heights in the areas of detail and thicker layer heights in the areas where it's not going to be noticed. So let's have a look and see how you can do this. As an example, I've got here my FPV drone stand which you can download from principles.com. This is a good example for variable layer height because it's got some different features on there. It has this straight stem in the middle and it doesn't have a huge amount of lateral variance in its shape. So you could probably get away with using quite a thick layer height on there without losing any detail. However, on the curves on top of the feet and the slope at the top here, you'd definitely be better off using a thinner layer height to reduce those jagged edges and keep a smoother finish. As an example, let's have a look at what it would look like if we were to slice the entire model in 0.25mm layer height. So let's have a quick look at the stem here. If we zoom in, you can obviously see the layer height, but because this is just a straight part of the object, you're probably not going to notice any loss of detail there in the final model print. On the top of the feet, however, you can see that there is quite a significant lateral change in position with every single step up, every new layer. And as a result, you're going to get this stared effect as it comes across. And the same is also going to apply for the slope at the top here. So you can get around this using the Prusa Slicer variable layer height mode. And we'll look at that by going back to the build mode here. If you select your model and come up to the menu at the top here, you can select the variable layer height. And this applies both the variable layer height menu and this interesting column here on the right. You can see as I move my mouse up and down the right, it's moving a yellow bar up and down on the model itself. And that's because this bar here represents the height of your model. Down on the menu, we'll look at the controls in a minute, but we're gonna start out with the quality and speed selector. This starts out at 0.5, which is in the middle of the two, but you can choose your preference on whether you'd like to prioritize quality or speed. Because we want to try and retain as much quality as possible in these areas, but we do want to still be able to print it quite fast, we'll put this to 0.35 for now, and then we'll click Adaptive. This is applied an automatic setting to the model based on what we've got set here and the geometry of the model itself. You can see some areas have stayed grey, when some areas have gone almost a yellow and then up to a green. The greener the colour, the finer the layer height has become. And you can see this correlates with the chart on the right hand side. So there is a grey area and then there are green areas. As I move my mouse up and down this chart, you can see just below my mouse that it says 0.25 and that is the layer height at the layer we're pointing at. As we move down to this section here where it goes green, you can see that the layer height changes all the way down to 0.07 millimetres. So you can see what layer height this is adjusting to and you can see that it's a gradual change here. In addition to it automatically generating these layer heights based on what it can see in the geometry, you can also draw on your preferred layer height changes. Let's say I wanted to have a uh, more of a thin layer height on the base of the slope here, which is around here. I could just use my left mouse button and draw in on this area. The left mouse button moves this blue line to the left, which is towards the quality section. The right mouse button, as I draw over it, moves it back to the right hand side, which is speed and a thicker layer height. The more you apply your mouse over an area, the further to the left or the right it's going to move. And if you scroll your mouse wheel up and down, you can grow and shrink the area that you're affecting as you click and move your mouse. It's worth quickly mentioning now that we had our default layer thickness set to 0.25mm when we did this. So this line here at 0.25mm, everything is grey because that's what the default is at. If we go up to print settings and change the default layer height to just 
0.2 millimeters and then come back you'll see that a lot of it has gone orange and that is because this black line here represents whatever our layer height is currently set to the blue line is the layer height that is actually generating here if it is moved to the right of this line it goes red if it goes to the left of this line and therefore thinner it goes green so you can see here that this has become a thicker layer height than is previously set if we hold our shift button and click with the left mouse it will reset it to whatever our default layer is rather than pulling it in either direction the same thing is if i hold shift and left click here it will pull it to the right but stopping at the center here now an important thing to keep in mind is how quickly it changes these layer heights you can see here it does have a bit of a gradual change from the 0.25 mil up to the 0.07 mil but let's say i just drew a section on here and we went like that it's quite a sharp change here this is going from 0 0.7 0 0.07 mil to 0.25 mil in just a few layers you want to smooth that out a bit and you do that using the smooth button you can just click smooth and you can see that it is rounding off these edges it's not having such a quick and significant change again you can continue to press smooth to continually smooth out these changes but in addition to that if i was to draw another sharp change in here you can use shift and your right mouse button to draw on smoothing where you want it so you see i've got a f I'll, I'll make that sharp again you can see i've got a sharp top if i right click and shift then you can see it smooths out that line so let's get rid of these bits in the middle here and let's grow this area here because we'd like to have a bit more fine layer detail coming on on this slope here so we'll left click here up to here and then we'll smooth that out with a shift and right click here and here and finally because this slope is the same angle all the way down we would like to have the same layer height all the way through this so just holding my left mouse click and moving all the way through here we can bring this entire top up to 0.7 millimeters and shift right click will smooth this line down here so it's a nice gradual change below that okay so let's slice this and have a look at how that came out so for the stem if you look in at the stem here you can see that the layer height is quite uniform and hasn't really changed with the top of the feet however if we look down at the top of the feet you can see a bit of a stared effect there but you can see that the lateral change in position is significantly less with each layer height so that is going to be a much smoother effect as a result and then if we look at the base of the stem here you can see the change in layer height so we've got our super thin layers here and we come up to our huge layers up here you can see that this is a gradual change if i zoom in a bit more you've got your thin layers here and as we move up we're getting thicker 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 up to the 0.25 mil layer height so you can see that this is going to allow you to retain the detail in the areas that matter whilst printing your model as fast as you can with thicker layer heights where it doesn't matter depending on the filament that you're using and the model you're printing if you don't smooth out those areas between the fine layer heights and the thick layer heights you can find that you get a bit of a banding across your print because the different layer heights cause a slightly different finish on them whether it be a more of a shiny finish or more of a matte finish so you want to make sure that you smooth out those changes if it was a quite immediate change from 0.1 mil thickness to 0.2 mil thickness you're going to have a bit of a weird look to your print if it's a practical print and you're just using this feature to make sure that it fits where it needs to and is quick to print then you probably don't care but if it's an aesthetic print you might want to keep an eye and make sure that this is smoothed out as much as possible well, I hope you guys found that useful. Please do like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me. And if you would like to support me and my channel and get access to some exclusive goodies, you can now do so via my Patreon, which I've linked to in the description below. For now, why not check out my tutorial on Prusa Slicer modifiers or my video about when I converted a pumpkin into a portal gun turret. Happy printing, and I'll see you guys next time.